Hello guys, I'm Lakesh Kapoor and you're watching Droid Crunch and in this video, we're going to talk about Tango.us. Tango is an amazing tool. It is like a Google Chrome extension, which is more popular and uh, is being used extensively by the users and it helps you to create how to guides and this guide can be shared with the team, can be shared with your external members, with your team members. Or any individual you want you can also export the guide you can share it anywhere so this is like a crazy software if you want to create some how-to guides so it's like a record and capture tool where you can uh, capture the workflows you can uh, basically uh, stepwise create the screenshots and you can make uh, documentation out of it so for example uh, if you look at this screen here it says one capture and standardize then share standardize is like categorizing or editing the parts of the content that you have recorded and then you can share it with your team it's very very easy software to use uh, to be frank and uh, there are some very very happy users who have reviewed uh, very very great to this tool so without wasting any time let me quickly show you what this tool does and how you can use it for your benefits so here i have logged into my personal account and let me also log into uh, asana where i can show you like a little bit about how you can create the documentation here's the extension okay so i will enable this uh, button right here to capture the workflow and I will uh, at the same time click anywhere so that the workflow can be started so here I go with this it has been started okay so now uh, for example now I want to create a new project so click on here click new project click on this blank project I will name it something like uh, web design I can set it to privacy or whatever but I will keep just to board and then continue and go to the project okay so now I am in this new project so I am done with my workflow of creating a new project in Asana I will just click on this button right here and boom the workflow is ready and I can now edit it I can name it like creating a new project in Asana okay I can write some description or subtitle here here it is automatically automatically generated okay through the title of uh, the web page like go to product streamline Asana I can say go to your project after you have to go to Asana okay i can also describe this step right here okay now here is the screenshots when i click here so i can describe about this step as well click on the new or click on the plus icon adjacent to the projects okay now I can also describe this step now click on the new project right I can also double click right here to show the full you know screenshots or I can just click on this to show only the part of the screenshot right like this I can also drag it down there I can also annotate like you can edit it and I can show an arrow right here right and you can save it so now an arrow is being shown I can also remove some uh, sensitive information from the screenshots like I don't want to show this draft project brief to the users watching the screenshot so I can blur it out and I can save it and now I can click here and now it will be removed for the users to see and this is how it works okay 
I can also zoom in and zoom out to the screenshots. Okay, type web design is not enter a new project name. For example, okay, so now you have to describe all the steps right here. And for the sake of saving some time, I'll just save it right here. And if you want to create more steps, you want to add steps, you can anytime click on this add step button and you can insert the step, you can capture the steps and the work will start and you will be able to recapture or capture from here. And you can also use the desktop application to capture the entire web screen as well. So, and you can also move to any step from here. Okay. Uh, kind of index for your documentation. When you are ready, you can save the workflow. Okay. Now you can click on the share button. Now you can share the workflow with your team members through an invitation uh, via email. And you can also make this invitation uh, to be uh, access to be accessible by the users who are invited, and not with anyone. And if you click anyone, then when you copy this link and you go to incognito and paste it, you will be able to see it. Okay, but in case you don't want this to happen, you can make it only invited users, right? And now when you reload, you cannot see it because you are not invited, of course. Now you also have option to magic copy where you can copy this uh, entire workflow in an HTML format and paste it in your uh, setup like in your WordPad and in all these applications, right? And you can also use a markdown to copy and paste into the product it's a post markdown and you can also download the uh, entire workflow in the PDF format. You can also change the settings for your PDF right here. Okay, where you can change the workspace logo, name, screenshot, highlights, color, and danger zone, and all of these things. Right, let me get back to this one once again. And you also have this feature to live embed. Okay, where you can copy the embed code and paste it in your tools wherever you want. So, this is a uh, very, very basics of uh, this software. and definitely it can give you a lot of satisfaction if you are creating some documentations and you don't have to spend time much you don't have to like spend much time in creating documentations you have to write then you go to the tool and then you take screenshots and you get back then you write something then you take screenshots it is very time consuming here you just do the thing your own way and you can delete the screenshots whichever you want and you can customize them zoom them annotate them at the same time after your recorded skin is done so it is very very useful and beneficial for those who are you know in to it field who are like uh, having some pages to be documented and then it is gonna you know give you a lot of satisfaction and power in your hands so i will definitely recommend you to go and check out this tool that's tango.us and if you check out the pricing it is very very uh, affordable you can start it for free and you can have all the features only if you would be restricted but you can use it for like up to 25 workflows per user and you can have a shared library for the entire workspace and team workspace for up to 25 users for free right and all the key features are available like capture workflows in the browser image editing and re redation uh, one thing that is uh, not good in the free plan is that you will have the watermark about tango in your screenshots and when you download them when you download html of it but if you choose to go with the pro plan you will not be having all those uh, watermarks and you can easily export the documentations and take them into your favorite tools and make a uh, better use of them so i will recommend if you are new you can check out the free version of it and when you are 
uh, seeing that it is very helpful and it is making some sense to be upgraded and you can definitely go for an upgrade about software and uh, for me it is going very good that's why i have the upgrade plan of it for an annual uh, time so this is all for today's video and if you want to check out more about this check the link in the description and if you have any questions you can go ahead in the comment section and it'll be there um thanks for watching and have a great day see you in the next video bye bye